In this video, I'm taking up two high school teachers and a Piper Warrior that are currently teaching a STEM aviation module to their students. One of the teachers is a veteran pilot and he has asked that I demonstrate slow flight power off and power on stalls and steep turns while he and his colleague film and narrate the flight from inside the cockpit. I hooked up an Insta361X camera to film the flight from outside the aircraft. Unfortunately, the camera ran out of power before we completed the mission with the landing at Laconia, New Hampshire Airport. However, the camera was able to capture all of the flight demonstrations requested. Follow along from taxi to run up and take off to completing these maneuvers while observing them from the bottom of the wing of this Piper Warrior. First up is slow flight. In this maneuver, I want to reduce power and maintain 70 knots of airspeed while also maintaining altitude. Here I'm reducing power while holding back on the yoke to maintain my altitude. As the airspeed needle slips into the white arc area on the airspeed indicator, I begin to pull in flaps. First one notch, 10 degrees, then a second notch, 25 degrees, and finally the third notch, full flaps, 40 degrees. I then add a little power back to stabilize my airspeed at 70 knots and maintain my altitude. Next is a power off stall. Here I reduced power to idle, held back on the yoke to reduce air speed, and then relaxed pressure on the yoke to allow the aircraft to begin a simulated final approach descent before then pulling back on the yoke to induce the stall. Upon hearing the stall horn, I relaxed pressure on the yoke to allow the nose of the aircraft to fall slightly below the horizon, added full power, and then took out the first notch of flaps. 
As the aircraft built up airspeed and began a positive rate of climb, I removed the remaining flaps incrementally. Next, I perform a power on stall. First, I reduce power while maintaining altitude to allow the airspeed to bleed off to 60 knots, the takeoff rotation speed. As the airspeed reaches 60 knots, I simultaneously apply full power and pitch the nose up by pulling back on the yoke, while at the same time applying significant right rudder. When the stall horn goes off, I reduce pressure on the yoke to reduce the angle of attack and allow the nose of the aircraft to descend slightly below the horizon to allow the aircraft to build up airspeed. With sufficient airspeed, I slowly pull back on the yoke to return the aircraft to level flight. And finally, steep turns. This first one is going to be to the left. And this next steep turn to the right. And with all the requested maneuvers performed, we headed back to the airport.